Bolton's list is to try and mock the Word of God. He is trying to claim the Quran is better than the Word of God. Keep that in mind as we... Uh, no, he's saying the Quran is the Word of God, moron. Okay, first of all. Check his references and his... I mean, if I say, okay, I'm talking about a Christian guy. Okay, I say, this Christian person said this, and he believes the Bible is the Word of God. Okay? Why should I go and say something stupid like, uh, uh, this Christian believes that, um, whatever. Okay, like this. The whole twisted, misguided point of this Mohammedan's list is to try and mock... Just because you talk slow doesn't mean people are going to, like, get brainwashed by you and hypnotized. Okay. God, he is... He is trying to claim the Quran is better than the word of God. No. According to the Muslim, he is trying to claim that the Quran is God's word. Okay. That the Quran was revealed by God to Muhammad. Okay, so if I'm speaking about a Christian, I'm not going to lie and say the Christian is trying to claim that the Bible is better than the word of God. Because that would be false. Okay. He is trying to claim that the Bible is the Word of God. That's what I would say. Okay. Let's be, you know, a bit logical here and reasonable. Trying to claim the Quran anyway, is I haven't gotten to what he's talking about yet. Keep that in mind as we check his references and his statements and his faulty logic. Oh yes, because Christians and Muslims are all illogical. Oh, you know that. There's so many people are illogical, even Nate. Well, let's look at Joshua. Let's look at Joshua 10, 13 in video? context. Joshua 10, 7. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of okay, war with him. This. I'm going to skip this. Is at war. Okay, Joshua Israel is at is war. Their leader. He is leading them in the fight, in a war. Okay, so, and yeah. the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not be a man of them stand before thee. Okay, so he's saying Joshua he took slaves, is that it? Women, slaves, and children? And went up from okay, so it sounds to me like I have delivered them to you, meaning what? All the men got killed or ran away, and the women got and children were delivered to him as slaves? Maybe. That that's, sounds like that's what thing. Let's see what happens night, in this interesting story. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon okay. and chased them along the way that goeth up to <sighs> Bethoron and smote them at Azekah and unto Makedah. And it came to pass as they fled before Israel and were in the going down to Beth Horon, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azor. Okay, Notice so he God said, yeah, like as in also Quran stories, um, God will smite bad people. Basically, that's what he's saying. That um, it was more, uh, God killed more people than what Israel killed. Okay. Miraculously fighting for Joshua and Israel. Okay. Just like God did in 1948. Pardon. Just like God did in 1960. God did in 1948. Uh -huh. And, uh, whatever. Okay, this guy's a Zionist, is that it? I don't know. Okay, but God let Germans kill six million Jews. Okay. So it wasn't God that did all this, okay? Uh, wars going on, battles and stuff. It's not always God. There was no prophet in 1972 that God was helping. Okay, no prophet. Right, he got that right. We'll do in the God make okay, listen, see, um, they think that Israel, this greater Israel is going to come and um, that God promises Israel all this stuff, that it's going to get whatever it wants. 